For over two decades, the International Space Station has been orbiting Earth at a speed of about 8 kilometers per second, while an international crew of astronauts have conducted groundbreaking experiments. According to NASA, the space station weighs about a million pounds on Earth and is approximately the same size as an American football field. It can support a crew of six people, along with visitors. It also houses laboratory modules from the United States, Russia, Japan, and Europe. Russia's invasion of Ukraine could compromise NASA's plan to extend the operating life of the International Space Station. Russia last year announced that it would be withdrawing from the International Space Station in 2025 and build and manage its own space station that will be launched into orbit by 2030. Russian space agency Roscosmos said that it has authority to operate the ISS for only two more years and the issue of extending the agreement in the current conditions are low. Backing out of the partnership could be catastrophic for NASA and its other international partners, which are heavily dependent on Russia for key sections of the orbiting laboratory and to carry out resupply, power generation, and even boost the station's altitude to prevent it from crashing into Earth. NASA said the remaining space station partners including the European, Japanese and Canadian space agencies could keep the ISS going without Russia. But it might not be worth the cost and effort. They would have to invest a lot of additional money to make that happen. The ISS was never intended to be broken apart. NASA is sounding hopeful that the cooperation, which dates back more than two decades, can withstand the latest blow in the relationship with Russia. NASA said that the U.S. is committed to the seven astronauts and cosmonauts on board the International Space Station. The crew consists of four Americans, two Russians, and a German from the European Space Agency. Meanwhile, two NASA astronauts are wrapping up training with Roscosmos, three Russian cosmonauts are training with NASA, and five NASA astronauts are scheduled to begin training in Russia this month. Russia's only female cosmonaut is also set to travel to the space station this year on the Dragon space capsule, the first commercial space capsule to ferry astronauts. Meanwhile in low Earth orbit, a NASA astronaut is scheduled to return from the space station on March 30th aboard a Russian Soyuz capsule breaking the record for the longest spaceflight mission of 355 days. NASA is trying to work relations with all of their international partners. The question is how long that can last. The Biden administration announced that it wants to extend the space station until 2030 when a series of private space stations should come online. But they also acknowledged that it needed to get buy-in from its international partners. In recent days, however, the head of Russian space agency has threatened to sever the partnership. They also warned that without Russian space systems, the space station could literally come crashing down. They said, if you block cooperation with us, who will save the ISS from an uncontrolled deorbit? NASA insisted in a statement that new economic sanctions imposed on Russia for the assault of Ukraine will continue to allow their space cooperation with Russia. Many of the functions carried out by the ISS partners are intertwined. The US and its other partners could manage without Russia, but it might prove so complicated and costly that it's not worth doing, according to experts on space station operations. For example, one major operation that Russia performs is the periodic reboosting of the station's altitude. That is traditionally carried out by Russia's progress, an expendable cargo vehicle. NASA is also counting on Russia to guide the station safely back to Earth when it is retired in the coming years. NASA is also planning that the Boeing Starliner spacecraft can perform the mission. But it is at least two years behind schedule and has yet to make its first successful flight to the station. One big question is, if Russia quits the station in 2024 or sooner, will it also take its sections with it? Will the Russians want to take some of their modules with them when they separate? Such a maneuver would likely require the help of a robotic arm built by the Canadian Space Agency. The best strategy if Russia backs out is to speed up plans to replace the station with privately funded space stations.